In recent news, rapper Sway Lee survived a nearly fatal car accident in Atlanta on New Year's Day. I guess it depends on how you spin it, but that could be an optimistic way to start 2021. At least the man is safe. Anyways, that's not what today's video is about. It's no doubt that Sway Lee has achieved a ton of success in the music industry so far. And with that, he's also purchased himself lavish homes, both in California, which we'll be taking a look at. We even found the listings. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Khalif Malik Shaman Brown, known better as Sway Lee, is a rapper, singer, and songwriter who makes up half of the hip-hop duo Ray Shremmerd alongside his brother Slim Jimmy. In 2017, Sway was featured on the single Unforgettable by French Montana, which was like everyone's summer jam that year, and of course it reached the top three on the Billboard charts. Sway's debut studio album Swaycation was released in 2018 as part of a trip album set, which also contained an album by Ray Shremmerd as a duo and one by Slim Jimmy. Sway's collab with Post Malone, Sunflower from the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse soundtrack became his first Hot 100 number one single as a solo artist. These days, Sway Lee has collabed on songs with a ton of big names from Travis Scott, Trippy Red, and even pop stars like Ellie Goulding. It's safe to say that he's made a name for himself in the industry and he's just getting started. At the time of this recording, Sway has an estimated net worth of about $9 million or more. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're noticing a ton of you watching aren't subscribed, so hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. Some of you guys requested this one, so today we're taking a look at where one half of Ray Shremmerd calls home, the two homes of Sway Lee. It seems that he most recently bought a mansion in Woodland Hills and also has one in Chatsworth. We've done house tours in the likes of Exhibit and Taraji P. Henson, and we'll link to some at the end. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. First of all, it seems that Sway Lee found his type in Chatsworth back in 2019. It was reported that the rapper purchased what may have been his first mansion, a nearly one acre estate that cost him $2.15 million, which is 250 k less than the original asking price. In posts that have since been deleted, Sway took to Instagram to show off his new digs, saying he paid all cash for the hillside estate. Well good for him. The scenic mansion is located in a gate guarded community called Summit Ridge, offering top notch security and privacy for the rapper. Chatsworth is an area that I don't hear of celebs moving to very often as it's pretty suburban. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, Shock Rocker and one of my faves, Marilyn Manson, used to or currently has a home there. But you can check out our house tour on him to be sure. This neighborhood is in Los Angeles and beside the Northridge area. Anyways, Sway's home was custom built, offering a 7,800 square square foot mansion with a whopping six bedrooms and 6.5 baths. A two-story entryway with custom inlaid floors and sweeping iron railed staircase kicks off the floor plan, and there are stunning views from almost every room. The foyer then opens up to the light and sunny formal living room where there are soaring ceilings, a fireplace, and plenty of windows. The elegant and spacious dining room is just next door, and the Eden Chef's kitchen is also on the main level. The kitchen has a sprawling breakfast area, high-end appliances, great granite counters, a walk-in pantry, and even an additional gourmet butler's room. Another casual eating area offers a peaceful view of the mountains, while a family room boasts space to entertain family and friends, or just to unwind with some TV. Other highlights include an office, games room, and a media room. Follow that winding staircase upstairs to the second level of Sway's mansion, where you'll find all the bedrooms with their own ensuite baths. The private home media room is located here as well, with a comfy seating plan, and all equipment here came with the mansion. Sway's this luxurious master retreat has a ton of amenities, like a spacious sitting area, an ensuite with spa tub, dual sink, steam glass shower, not one but two walk-in closets. According to the listing materials, it definitely offers a lifestyle at the top, so Sway knows how to pick up. Outside, aside from the pair of stone eagles on the premises, the property hosts a serious resort-style setup. There are stairs leading down to the pool and spa, and elsewhere there's a gazebo and two covered patios. The luxurious space is definitely perfect for 
for some Instagram photo ops. While you'd think that mansion would be enough for Sway, he bought another mansion at the end of that same year. At the start of 2020, it was reported that the rapper bought himself a lavish Christmas present, paying $3.5 million for the former Woodland Hills home of actors Jonathan Freaks and Jeannie Francis. The sale closed on Christmas Eve of 2019 for almost 200 k less than the asking price according to records. Woodland Hills is an area of Los Angeles a bit closer to the celebrity action than Chatsworth, so it makes sense that Sway would want a home here. It borders the Santa Monica Mountains in the San Fernando Valley region. The rapper used a trust to purchase the mansion, which the famous couple and former owners bought for about $2.8 million a couple of years before. Behind gates and built in the late 1980s, situated on a uniquely shaped 0.4 acre parcel of land in a guard gated enclave, you'll find Sway's 8,909 square foot mansion. And just when you thought his other home was massive, this place has six or more beds and seven full and two half baths. The home has a stone accented exterior that's original, but the interiors have been hugely renovated in a contemporary style. A huge grand chandelier hangs in the grand double height foyer and the palatial marble floor was replaced with oak floorboards that can also be found throughout most of the home. The step down living room here is lined with arch windows and boasts an art deco inspired marble fireplace. Elsewhere, there's a library with a decadent black marble fireplace and gray color scheme, while the formal dining room overlooks a small garden and courtyard. The kitchen in Sui's latest mansion has been expanded and renovated as well, and for some reason, I love the design of it more than most I've seen. The mix of exposed brick and hardwood look great together, and the design is sleek and mainly contemporary, open over an island with built-in snack bar. This space leads to the window-lined breakfast nook and the spacious family room. Here, there's another cozy fireplace and and French doors to outside. Upstairs, there is a handful of ensuite guest rooms and another family room with wet bar. Of course, you'll also find Sway's master suite, which is fit for a king. The master bedroom is a world of its own, according to listing materials, boasting a fireplace, morning bar, and a private balcony all under a vaulted ceiling. The attached bathroom is decked out in sparkling white marble and has separate his and her spaces with a dual entry shower, soaking tub, and a dry sauna. The backyard offers plenty Plenty of privacy in its line with trees, and amidst it all, there's a pool and spa, built-in fire pit, a grilling area, and a large gazebo. It's safe to say Sway will have every amenity he needs and more at his current mansion. All right, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end here. We took a look at two of rapper Sway Lee's mansions, and by the sounds of it, he bought them both in a short amount of time. He has that house in the suburbs in Chatsworth Alley, and then his newer and even more lavish one in the Woodland Hills area. After checking out both of these properties, which was your fate? I love the newer and larger one in Woodland Hills best. I just think the design is the perfect mix of classic and contemporary, and it looks like it's fit for royalty. While the other place is gorgeous and I would never turn it down, it looks like more of a basic McMansion in my opinion. Be sure to tell me what you liked or didn't like about Sway's homes down in the comments. I'm also trying to get to 1,000 subs on my personal channel, so if you haven't subscribed, please go do so. We'll link you my latest vlog. And leave me a comment, cause I'll definitely comment back. <laughs> How can I say no? It was basically a mammoth. So good. It's oozing out, but... They don't hog it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'm still reading all of your comments on here and your amazing suggestions, so keep them coming. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and tell me whose house tours you guys want to see next. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!